what do you know? It really was as easy as booking a ticket after all. Well, almost. I only need to get some fuel rods to revive the submarine's reactors. How hard can it be? Don't the Russians have this stuff just sitting all over the place? In this case, though, there's only one man who actually knows where to look for it. But through sheer luck, I had already met him. Now, I just need to find the captain again. That should be about as easy as finding a needle in a haystack. Luckily, along with new weapons, Tom has provided me with a map detailing some of the captain's hideouts. Of course, there's no guarantee I'll meet the old man in any of them. But they are at least a place to start. scanner shows you the direction towards it and that's it as long as you know where they are mines can't hurt you you could even disarm them for some resources if you feel lucky <laughs> thanks for the explanation you're welcome stay safe Clear, Tom. Good. I forgot to tell you, all my people know you're a guest now. There's lots of random characters roaming the area, though. So, if anyone is hostile toward you, you're free to shoot the bastard dead. Thanks, Tom. I'll keep it in mind. You're welcome. Good luck, Sam. Tom out. Use this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nie doma. be of use. This I could definitely use. I could use that. Пригодится.
ni ploja. Личная находка. Хорошо. Окей, this I could definitely use.
This stuff is mine now. But now... Ah... Uh, we wouldn't even see anything anyway. Did you see how many posters came over? And those guys think they're too important to watch the movies with footmen. So even if guys like us get to see anything, it's going to be in the very end. So you know, Justin didn't gain that much. And we didn't lose much either. Still, I'm not just letting him have it anyway. On principle. So, what are you going to do to him for that? Oh, it will be a surprise. Let me tell you one thing though. One bad wing at the car dump is getting a snap. <laughs> You're going to feed the fucker to Seraph? Shh, don't spoil the surprise. No mutants or some shit inside. Gotta watch out just in case. Shh. Talk about mining for resources. Thank you. 
is that tape? This looks interesting. Nachodka.
Let's put something educational on for a change. The twin cities of Vladivostok and San Diego share strong bonds of friendship and cooperation, as these cities are not only I'll be damned. important San Diego. in their respective countries, but also major scientific, cultural, and political centers that have played major historical roles in the development of their regions. Both cities are of great economic importance, not only for their countries, but also for the Pacific region as a whole. In our turbulent times, when the hydra of reactionary forces is once again raising its multiple heads, we must make every effort to further strengthen the cordial friendship between Vladivostok and San Diego. We believe that friendly support and mutual understanding will undoubtedly replace hostility and distrust in international relations. And the cooperation of our twin cities is a shining example of such understanding and an important milestone on the way to this goal. Dad, I'll be home soon. Just wait a little longer. This is You won't make a noise. <laughs> Let's see what the fuck is going on there. So far, so good. Yeah. Talk about mining for resources.
Got jammed. You again? <laughs> yes, me. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Edward Baranoff, ex captain. Glad to meet you, Ed. How did you end up in this mess? <sighs> this is one of my ports. <sighs> Usually the traps downstairs were enough. The Fuglies here know well enough to stay away. Let's go before some more arrive. Stupid beasts. You kill a bunch, but they just keep coming. Let me move this, Sam. You got it? Come on! Oh, we did it! Ugh, I hurt all over. Which is a good sign. Means I'm alive. So, where was I? Ah, yes. 
Then the bandits from the cinema decide to throw a party for the local gang bosses. And think far enough ahead to chase a pack of fuglies away from the ruins next door for extra security. So the poor mutants arrived here and got sandwiched between the bandits and the other parks in the vicinity. The only way open for them was up. I could beat them, but that gem... You're welcome. I've been looking for you. Did you talk to Tom? Yeah. He suggests a deal. Yes, he's fond of those. Damn. <laughs> I hate being old. We're almost there. All right, my own personal savior, let's set sail. Come aboard. We have a long way to go. Tell me, Ed, what happened here during the war? Doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our help. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrives with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! Damn it! <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine! Keep your head down! Looks like we're safe. Did you see where he's shooting from? I'll handle we the can't sniper, get him from you the stay water. here. Are you sure? Go get him then.
smoke and go back to pretending to be busy. There's no way in for that hey, fucker. All the doors are locked. Bitch, You'd have to learn to fly. I give up! No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Surprise. You're good. Took him out quietly. 
Leche loco. <laughs> Where did you learn those moves? Middle East, Afghanistan? Nope. Action movies. Great find. Yet, who were those guys? Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins, those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sell them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> they visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> Why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. <laughs> you got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, Sam. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many fog leads in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel the sub and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex Second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. 
But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And we're there. Come on in, Sam. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam, what's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids, or even something as noble as creating the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war. So could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now? When we're barely surviving after that one. Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is, first and foremost, a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. Perfect, Edward. I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods, and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Klim will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. Then, we have a deal. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says. I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. Ah, damn. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Hmm. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. Wow, that's a nice surprise. 
All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> Here, you have some too. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Come on. Let's get it done. All right, I'm ready. Pull it hard. Hold on to your hat. I don't think it worked. Let me catch my breath. And get one for yourself, too. Cheers. <coughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. All right. Pulling. <coughs> Damn. That was awful. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers! Cheers! I say, let's not go anywhere tonight! Mm. Oh. Not bad at all. <sighs> okay, let's go check the generator. Are you sure? <laughs> When my Excel bird sing and shouts, where the hell is my tape machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, Sam. Shit, I ain't got it. Huh? You hear that? What, the music? Had we had some music? Amen to that. Hey, you! What the? Okay, let me fix this. I definitely got it now. Start it, son. <laughs> now I got this. Let there be the light. <laughs> Wait, uh, what the- Ed! By the way, care to tell me your story? Are you sure? Come on, Sam, unwind! Sure, why not? When we buried the Colonel, I just knew I had to leave. I just knew Dad I was waiting. Thanks for telling me, Sam. We were on the ropes by then, and had to take the deal. And that bastard wants to save the world? Bah! He's going to become a pirate with nukes, and that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's quite like that. He has ideas. I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy. I don't know. He's not a madman, Ed. I know, but still, ah, to hell with him. Let's drink. <sighs> Come on, Sam. Telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy, but you lack respect. Respect of your elders. <laughs> ah, and I mean, why aren't you drinking? 
Hey, Ed. <laughs> I'm here. You are there too. Weird. I, I need a drink. Oh, this is good. Mm. Not bad at all. <sighs> <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> now that's what I call a party. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.